Well, this is uh, day 17 of my learning to ride. And today I'm not going to leave the neighborhood. I'm just going to, you know, go around and try to do some uh, slow rides. Just kind of see how I'm doing. Might do some uh, stop and goes. And, you know, just uh, keep the comfort level up. You know, kind of um, keep my head up. Pay attention to how I'm turning. And that's about it. So, today is just basically a comfort ride. I just always want to keep um, practicing. Hope you guys are doing fun things. Things that you guys enjoy doing. It's always important. see this Amazon person making deliveries he was nice enough to stop for me and also I'm just trying to make sure you can I can control and stay loose on the bike as well. If you notice, I did make some upgrades to the bike. Um, I talked about the mirrors, how I changed the mirrors. And then one thing I'm gonna be doing here, I'm gonna do some stops. I noticed that when I was on the road um, last couple of days, that I really didn't like my stops. So I want to practice those, you know, make sure, um, you know, when I slow down that I'm able to kind of time when I need to put my feet down. If I put them down too early, that's not good. If I put them down too late, that's not good either. So I'm just trying to keep a good balance of knowing when to, um, you know, put them down those are small things but there are still things that I'm working on and I'm getting closer to signing up for the MSF course I was just basically waiting the only thing I didn't want to do is I didn't want to sign up for the course and then, you know, the weather is not good or it's raining. And then, you know, I, that I just have a miserable day. And I also wasn't sure if, um, if it's something that they would cancel. Depending on the weather. And I did call them and they basically don't cancel it. They still go on with the class. So that's good to know but to be honest the other thing was I was just kind of a little bit um, you know worried that you know do I want to take the course if it's raining and then how would I do and then what came to my mind is that's um, a condition that I need to learn how to ride in that was a good example of situation where in, when it's there sorry I can't speak situational awareness because I saw that car coming up and he was coming pretty fast around the corner and I knew that he was coming around so I was able to move to the side 
I'm not using my turn signals here in the neighborhood because I'm just kind of focusing more on um, just relaxing and you know trying to like avoid obstacles I'm just picking some out on the road I do like the seat though it is very comfortable I'm getting way used to the throttle the throttle controls you know once again this is like day 17 and if you take a look at how I'm doing from my first day these were the same turns that I was trying to do and the same turns that I was having problems on the same turns that I kept putting my feet down and now you know definitely a lot better there's a couple of times um, that I've actually uh, put my foot down and that's just when I started overthinking things you know I started thinking too much about um, you know how I'm supposed to do the turn or how somebody on YouTube did it and it may have not necessarily been you know my comfort level so I'm still one is I want to make sure that when I do practice that I'm trying to practice good techniques and I'm not you know building any bad habits and that's really important for me so the more turns that I could get in the um, the better I feel and on the street I'm not actually really even doing these kind of turns right I don't know how many u-turns I'm gonna be making but at the same time you know I definitely need to know how to do those And I want to get it to a point to where I'm able to do, um, you know, a lot tighter turns. And, you know, make sure that my head position is right. And not looking down. Which is another thing I just want to let you guys know that sometimes, um, you know, I am kind of looking down. And that throws you off. Um, right there I basically looked where I wanted to go and it was a lot better and that's one of the things that you know I have to kind of remind myself sometimes but I want to make sure that that's something that comes automatically to me right I shouldn't have to uh, be really focusing on hey you know look where you want to go that should be automatic hopefully I'm not disturbing these neighbors uh, too much I definitely um, like to respect everyone again this is my day 17 of my training and I'm kind of getting the hang of um, you know what I need to do when I am kind of um, you know at a point where in the turn that I'm I'm thinking that I'm losing my balance it's uh, basically I have to commit to the turn and a lot of times what I wasn't doing was committing to the turn and I stopped accelerating and when I stopped accelerating that pretty much uh, throws me off balance so I'm still trying to uh, you know stay on the throttle and if I need to do anything I'll go ahead and drag you know my rear brake and I did see that car um, you know behind me and like I says uh, my neighbors know that I'm training they have all been very supportive and, and very nice um, as a matter of fact they always want me to be safe and they're just like hey you know you're doing good just keep it up and that's always nice you know when when you're told that I 
I almost did a 360 there, but I decided against it. There you go. That's an example of, um, you know, me putting my foot down. And I'm not sure why that happened. So, it's another thing that, you know, when I do mess up, I... I like to go back to the area where I messed up and do it again. So there you kind of heard the little nervousness in my voice. Because I just hate, you know, when I mess up. But then again, you know, I, I want to, um, you know, keep practicing. And sometimes it's like these hills too. Like turning on these hills just a little bit different. Uh, going up and then versus going down but that's um, you know I'm gonna have to be able to do that so I'm just getting a couple of those right turns in the turn that I messed up and that was good then I'll get a left turn in and I'm always keeping an eye on you know my surroundings and I don't know if you guys uh, you know follow Frankie's world or not he's a friend of mine and he gave me a couple of suggestions and one of the suggestions that he gave me was to um, you know put blind spot mirrors on so I'm going to go ahead and do that, put blind spot mirrors on. And again, I'm going to go to this uh, one area where I put my foot down on, on the right turn. And, you know, I'm going to see if I could not put my foot down. Something about that um, hill or something like that. And then again, I'm looking, there's no one here, guys. And I'm going to just try to, you know, get a good turn in. And I think that was good throttle control on that 360. That felt pretty good. I don't know why I'm just thinking about food. I'm hungry right now. And I think sometimes driving through the neighborhood is kind of nice and relaxing and you know, it gives me some things to practice on and you know, get on the bike as often as I can. It's a real safe area um, to practice things, like practice turns, turning left and turning right. And then try to turn faster there. So it makes it, you know, good for me because then you know, I don't have to worry about riding up to a parking lot if I, I just want to do a few minutes of training. I kind of get to decide on, you know, how much training I'm going to do. And then if I get tired, I could just kind of pull into the garage. Um, you know, I don't have to really worry about it. Committing to the turn is so important. Going to do a turn over here going the other way. I think that was good. You know, obviously the more you practice, the better you get at something. And I'm gonna leave my mistake in there from earlier where I, I put my foot down. Because I think it's important. You know, I just don't wanna be editing videos um, to where everything looks perfect because I'm not 
not a perfect rider and nowhere close to being you know even a little bit of where I want to be so I, I definitely want to get better and I think you know like um, feeling relaxed is, is really important you know for me and guys look right now I actually have 100 miles on my bike I've done 100 miles of training I think that is pretty good I'm happy about that 100 miles yay if you guys are cheering woohoo 100 miles yay me I know that sounded so weird right <laughs> so go back to this area where I had put my foot down and turn around again it's a little bit of a difficult one on the hill I still thinks So I'm going to do it again. And I think it's just the change, um, you know, from going uphill to going downhill. But then if I lean properly, you know, I'm able to do it. That was good there too. 101 miles I kind of seem like a really short mile I hope it's accurate hopefully it's not kilometers you know I better double check if I have that set to kilometers wouldn't that be weird if I you know had it on kilometers this whole time I don't think I do though I'm pretty sure that it's set on miles there's no one behind me so I'll do a turn going right and that was good we'll come up here and will put us in a situation to where there's not a lot of room so that was good and I'll go back up there and do another right turn and then we will call this a, a semi short uh, training session you know hope you guys uh, are enjoying my progress actually I'm gonna go up the hill since these guys are walking hope you guys are enjoying my progress please like and subscribe to my channel this is rider guy I really appreciate it it means a lot to me if there's anyone that's actually following my journey And also for those that have a fear of riding I've never been on a motorcycle um, although like this is a scooter is still an X-Max 300 which is 292 cc scooter um, it's I'm gonna use my single finally it's just one of those things that you know if you want to do it you can do it so guys take care have fun always and do something you want to do